as we go deeper on the journey, you're going to notice that everyone ends up realizing the same thing. I've always had visions of better. I've always visualized better. And in times of struggle, like driving around, driving down in a banger of a car that I had to push start, I'd be still driving a soft top Bentley around beautiful California in my head. And lo and behold, now I am driving a beautiful soft top Bentley around California. So I always visualized good things. I always visualized victory, success, abundance. I visualized it all and it's all happening. And if you're not a reader, something I talked about two videos ago was you have to get into reading and you have to get into nonfiction. Now, in no way, means, shape or form am I a millionaire, but I am able to sit here, do my recruiting, go to my side hustle, make videos for you and not have to go work for the man anymore. So if you're on level one, trying to get your first 100 or 200 grand, this is what we need to understand. It is very important. So Science and Getting Rich, chapter one. These are my notes, okay? If you don't have time, just listen to this. Also, I wanted to say, if you're trying to change your life and you can't sit through an entire video, that is part of the pattern. I see a lot of people and I'm thankful that you're watching these videos, but you're sitting through two and a half minutes to three minutes. And I just implore you to stick around longer than that because you're not getting the complete message until we get to the end. So you have the right to be rich. And if you think about it in reality, just to be a hundred percent fair to ourselves, 1% is very, 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 very rich. If you make it into the top 7% of the world, you're crushing it. If you can get to $500,000 a year, you're killing it. Now we do talk about auto suggestion a lot, and we're gonna talk about auto suggestion in other videos, but some numbers you have to know, if you wanna make a million bucks a year, that's $83,333 a month. And that's roughly 2750 It's like $2,734 a day, but it's 2750 bucks a year. So when you're having those thoughts, 2750 bucks a day, when you think about it, when you break it down, yes, $2,750 a day is a lot of money to make in a day, but it's not really that crazy in the grand scheme of things. If you think of, let's say you think you're going to make $20 million in your entire lifetime. In the grand scheme of all the money that's on the planet, that's a drop in the bucket. So you have the right to be rich. And what the book talks about, the science of getting rich, we need to take this information. And this is stuff I've been using now for a couple of years. And, you know, recruiting works, side hustling works. Ruby's coming over here. If we take this on faith, failure is impossible. As a man, as a woman, as an adult, but here we're talking about men of purpose. There's a science to getting rich. Money and property come as a result of doing things in a certain way. Thinking a certain way. Auto-suggesting all the time what you want to yourself knowing that it's already yours, you just have to provide the service in relative proportion for what you want to receive. If someone in your town or city can get super paid, so can you. Idiots are doing it every day. No man can rise to his full potential without money. And it's just a fact of life. If you're broke, you're going to be miserable. When I was in the call center, miserable. No man can rise to his full potential without money. And it's just a fact of society today. You need money. It used to be you left the house 20 bucks. You were good every day. Now you need literally 50 to a hundred dollars a day just to run errands. So dating is expensive, having a family is expensive, having pets is expensive, rent is ridiculous unless you live with 14 people, which is not acceptable if you're an adult male. 
And remember, we are creating control. All is one, one is all. Everything that we want is already ours. We just have to provide the service in proportion to receive what the universe has for us. The book talks about infinite substance. Infinite substance gives you whatever you want. You create whatever you want with infinite substance. Man is the only one who can create thoughts. And the only thing that can create things are thoughts that are in the infinite substance. Success in life, from what I've gathered, is becoming what you want to be. And I know that sounds super basic. Life is not going to be fulfilling if you're stuck doing things that you don't want to do. Just how it is. People are figuring this out now, which doesn't make sense to me. I figured this out years ago, and it seems like maybe only the younger generation is catching on because I'm kind of part of both. You can only become what you want to be by making use of things, right? This camera costs money. This whiteboard costs money. The pens to make this shit cost money. The editing tools cost money, right? So you can only make use of things as long as you are rich enough to buy them. But you see these videos getting better and better. That's because I'm investing money from the side hustle, from the recruiting. And you can only make use of things so long as you are rich enough to buy them. One thing the book talks about, very important. I used to be on this, I don't want anything. I'm happy with nothing. Very different from being a minimalist. It's more just as being a nothingness. A nothingness. I hate lifeist. Low self-esteemist. A man that does not desire abundance is abnormal. You, you have every right. We have every right to want a huge house a farm, a large family, beautiful wife, kids, cars, farm animals all over the place, you know? There's nothing wrong with wanting abundance. In fact, not wanting abundance. Wallace Waddles tells us that's abnormal and I'm cool with that, more than cool with that. Men cannot live fully in body. I hope you like this one. Here's one a good friend actually taught me, but it's in the book. Men cannot live fully in body without good food, comfortable clothing, warm shelter, and I'll add one, some good booty, and the freedom from excessive toil. What does that mean? That means that you should have the freedom to not do exact, exhausting, physical, unneeded labor that you don't want to do. Maybe you like working in the backyard. One of my best friends, he likes working on his house. That's not extracting physical, unneeded labor. That is not excessive toil. He enjoys that because he has the money to do so. A man who has the right to be rich cannot live fully in mind without books and time. Every morning I go to the coffee shop and I read for about 40 minutes. Travel and observation. I take a couple cross country road trips every single year. I travel all over the country because I love seeing. And he also, this goes back to booty, needs intellectual companionship. We rarely get to the other side. I'm getting good at this. To live fully in soul, a man must have love. The first love we have to have is for ourselves. Previous videos, I've talked about hating our vessel. You can't take care of others if you can't take care of yourself. A man's highest happiness is found in the bestowal, the giving, 
and this is something I've learned recently of his benefits onto the ones he cares about. So oddly enough, getting all this stuff, manifesting all this stuff, creating abundance, it's all meant to give it away to the ones that we love. So that's pretty noble there. And that's a purpose in itself. It's to create a higher version of ourselves so that we can attract what we want so that we can give what we want, what it wants. Pretty trippy shit here. A man who has nothing cannot give. And that all comes down to money. It really does. You can have all the love in the world, but if you're not, you're not attracting the right people, you hate yourself. If you have no money, you can't give. Once again, it's perfectly right that you desire to be rich. And as added bonus for those of you who have stuck around, you can render no higher service to God and remember your reflection of whatever you believe in and your humanity, your ancestors. So you can render no higher service to the universe until you make the most of yourself. Please subscribe. Please like. I appreciate you being here.